Investigators in Polk County are still trying to track down the thieves who broke into more than 40 storage units in a facility in Lakeland. Many angry people looking for answers about this and their experience may be a good lesson for us all. The Now's Ryan Rage looks at how to safely use a storage unit. I opened the door and the bikes were gone. Tonight, a lot of angry customers at Socrum Self Storage in Lakeland. It's heartbreaking because mom just died and her stuff is in there. 40 units hit, the locks busted right off, and the thieves caught on camera, shuffling all the stolen items through a hole they cut in the fence. They made us feel secure here. Sherman Burr lost more than five but grand I worth. Think about this road back here that's not monitored or the fence that they can walk through. He kept his unit secure with a padlock like this one. Lee Smith did the same thing. I figured everything would be good. I was wrong. While detectives are trying to track down the bad guys, they are hoping this is a good lesson for anyone renting a storage unit to pay attention to the lock you buy. First and foremost, we tell the public if you're going to use a storage facility to buy that circular lock that is impenetrable. It cannot be cut with bolt cutters. The managers of this storage facility would not talk on camera, but tell us they are now handing out these type of locks to those who ask. Another important tip is to consider insurance. Storage unit policies start at less than $10 a month and may even be part of renters or home insurance. I, don't, I just don't think it's fair. I think they should be responsible. All of these fed up renters wishing for a redo and hoping someone can help track down the thieves running off with all the things they thought were safe and sound. It's kind of depressing though, you know, you know, being that these guys were able to get as much as they got in the time that they had. You, know, you had 40 units, that's a lot of time. In Lakeland, Ryan Raish, the Now Tampa Bay.